you know, those are real, real concerns. So anyways, funds like that, yeah. that people are doing fundraisers and donating money and doing things that um, we have never asked for, but like, we're just putting it aside for her to be able to use later in right. life. So, but those things wouldn't be happening if we didn't put it out there. So sure. I believe yeah. I'm a big believer in like putting things out there and, and you'll get it back. It's like karma, I guess. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Right. And are you familiar with Brene Brown? No. Oh my gosh. Look her up. Everybody. Brene Brown. She got her kind of name to fame uh, with a TED talk a long time ago, but she's a clinical social worker like myself, but she went in the route of research and her research was really human connection. And the, the, that's a, it's a really hard uh, type of research because you're, you're not getting just yes and no answers from people. It's like you're getting detailed things. So to kind of go that route with research, Track is that tough. data, yeah. yeah. but the data, all of it, showed that we can never have the connection, the human connection that we want, desire, and need without vulnerability. Now, our society shows that vulnerability is a weakness. But what she determined is that you can never have a moment that is vulnerable that does not take strength, right? A soldier running into battle, that's a vulnerable thing. Because vulnerability means uncertainty. <clears throat> so if you're going into something with certainty, then that doesn't take a lot of strength, right? If you're going to start a business. Yeah, I know the outcome of yeah, this. There's no risk. There's exactly. No, yeah. Right. But when there's risk and there's unknowns of how is somebody going to respond to this information? How, how is this business going to do? How is this, you know, interview that I'm about to go into going to be right. And that uncertainty takes a lot of strength because we are pushing ourselves to be vulnerable in a time where we don't know how it's going to be. And so you putting all this out there took a lot of strength because you had to be vulnerable. You had to talk about crying, right? Your, your wife, I remember posted a a picture of you, I think Mm, mm, Kendall. And I remember you, you know, she, she had a very beautiful, eloquent, you know, kind of post about it. But I think it was a few days later or something. You, you, I came back with a yeah, different story. Yeah, you came back with a different story because that's what social media does, right? Is it shows this without context that shows this like kind of beautiful picture. But you were like, no, here, this is it. This is how I've been. This yeah, is how she I've said been something. I'm, I'm trying to recall, and I'm, I hope I don't screw it up. But it was a picture of me with Kendall in the hospital. And I don't remember. I was doing something with her. And she's like, oh, we're so lucky to have you know, Kendall's got such a good dad or something right. like that. It was like, okay, that's yep. really nice. Yep. I saw that picture and it was like painful mm-hmm. because I knew that the emotion and the, and what that photo represented to me, which was having to tell Kendall that, you know, she's going to lose her hair and you know, what all this cancer is and, and the fear and the uncertainty and, and all that kind of stuff. And it, it was for me, not like a, we're so lucky dad's so strong and so nice, which, I appreciate, sure, but that was a more of a painful photo for me, you know, which was interesting. Yeah, but for you to put that out there and to be vulnerable, because I mean, you could have just taken that. Right? Oh yeah, you're, you're just yeah, I'm awesome. Right, yeah, Look how yeah, I'm yeah, great, yeah. right? Look at me. I told you guys. I told you I'm a good dad, right? Yeah, That's yeah. why I started this business. I'm a good dad, right? <laughs> but but you didn't. You you took that opportunity to be vulnerable, and I, and I think you're right. Like what you put out there in terms of vulnerability is what you're going to get back. And so once you're vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Now other people are like, Hey, me too. Like I'm struggling too. Right. 